Outsiders, excluded, rejected, in a world of labels, they are what many today deem as outcasts. And now we ask, how does one's history affect how we communicate with the world today? To what extent do people think individuals with such habits are different? For the overachiever, Maisie's classmates feel hostile towards her because she was brought up in a Chinese background. They would mock her for her independence and competitive behavior. And because of this, Maisie and her classmates would not get along. For the kleptomaniac, since she was a child, Dina has been severely deprived by her parents. As a result of this, she has been stealing for some time. Once, she remembers stealing a cell phone from a friend and she was caught doing this. Different things trigger different people. To Dina, this was the trigger. In our culture today, some feel uncomfortable even being a friend to someone who is perceived differently. Next, we look inside the mind of a suicidal. Camilla's parents both died in a car accident. This made her very depressed, and most of all, she was losing her mind. She even became antisocial, and at times would put a blade to her wrist. The people around her were just freaked out by her ways and considered her as weird. Camilla hated her life. She hated who she was, and nobody dared talking to her. For the addict, Dave recalls feeling remote towards his divorced parents. He was in seventh heaven when he first tried drugs. His addiction started affecting his relationship with his parents, friends, and everyone around him. People judged him and even ignored him. They did not show their care for him. Now, here is a Muslim teenager, Jamila, who feels like an outsider due to her cultural identity. Jamila's classmates cannot understand her habits, so she feels like an outcast in the room. They would discriminate her and also called her with different names, most of which were not even true. Jamila just felt alone and isolated. For the overachiever, Maylie was not prejudiced towards non-Asians anymore. Her classmates respect her being competitive, and they don't have any conflict in class. For the kleptomaniac, Dina's shame and guilt did not make her condition worse. For her peers, instead of being ignored, they helped her solve her problems little by little. To the suicidal, gradually, she learned to value the people around her, and her negative thoughts subsided. For the addict, Dave became open about his addiction to the people he considers close to him. His parents and friends were committed to helping him to a recovery. And for the religious, 
Jamila embraced her being Muslim at school, which led to her friends communicating with her more deeply. Her peers did not discriminate her and label her as something she is. Good afternoon, ma'am, uh, ma'am Pepe. We would just like to ask you a few questions um, regarding communication and regarding interaction in society. So our first question would be, how does one's history affect the way he communicates with others or affect the way he interacts with the people in the society? Okay, ma'am. Like, we have, um, there's an instance when, like, what you said in our discussion before about the kleptomania person and what his past or what his or her past has done has affected the way he interacts with people now. So, um, can you give us like other examples of when a person, a person's history can affect his interactions? Actually, uh, experiences. It's not history. Well, it's history, no? But experiences, man's experience says, can affect your way of life. Surely, it is a, it's a, uh, it's a given fact, actually, that it can affect your, your way of life, whether positively or negatively. Now, what are these experiences? It's either you are the victim, or you are a witness to, uh, to, to a, a heinous crime, a witness to, an har to, a, to a harassment. Okay, all of these are not natural phenomenon, and uh, since they are not natural phenomenon, it is very traumatic then on the part of the child. So, uh, and because of that, uh, it can affect, it can affect uh, humans uh, in dealing with other people. And uh, the effect would be social, psychological. So ma'am, on what you said, are there other factors that you think could affect a person's interaction or like that can make him or her who she is today? other than like childhood experiences? Uh, if, if you're talking of sociology, we are phenomenological in approach. So the, the, the basic, the, basic uh, the, 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 the basics of communication is, uh, the basis of communication is taught childhood. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and interaction, uh, if you want me to explain further, I can only go beyond that point that uh, since I'm using phenomenological approach, I'm using it as my basis of, of, uh, of giving inputs as regards effect of experiences to humans. And the effect is not permanent. It is Many of us do not know their stories. All of these people have their share of social exclusion. They share the struggle to find a place within a larger culture that doesn't always welcome them. The way they act today influences their communication with the world. We hope that this shed light to the voices of those mocked and misunderstood in today's social world.